Welcome to another episode of Maniacal Music Musings Presents Brackets. And yes, this is our Halloween special as we are doing Halloween songs. And I did not make these rankings, as my good friend DeAndre often says. They are from Ranker, most of them anyway. I had some songs in that because you can't do a Halloween bracket without hardcore rap in it. So I had to add some in. So we are starting this. I did not write an intro for time's sake. So you all know me, your host, Jeremy. You all know my co-host with his one eye, one horn, purple eater, people, purple people eater, fucking tongue twister, self, Chansey. And we are joined by my fellow co-host from Global Strangeness, our my paranormal discussion show, Captain Skia. We are joined by my favorite unfiltered star, sorry, Catalina, Vanessa. <laughs> we are joined by my fat, my favorite mouthy and the best looking bastard, Jamie. Thanks. And we are, of course, joined by our bracket expert, Amanda from the Sip List and Evening at the Movies podcast. Hey. She's been in every bracket. She's been at every bracket we've ever done. And we have a new face tonight, Mr. Kevin Stoner himself. And Casey, you could take it away. So, a little self service, really quick, because I'm going to dip out the door here after I do the intro. But I just wanted to introduce myself to anybody who I don't know. I host an evening at the movies with Amanda, who is my co host. It's an amazing show where we talk about movies and have a lot of fun and review the movies and if anybody hasn't checked us out i highly encourage checking us out it's a lot of fun we just dropped our 100th episode last wednesday and we look forward to the next hundred as well so um with that said um on an evening at the movies we do a certain we have a little thing that we do where um we like to pay tribute to our favorite celebrities as well as people who have um, been a huge part of the success of the podcast. And with that said, um, we like to refer to these people as an evening at the movies icons. So with that said, um, there is somebody in this episode who has been with an evening at the movies from day one, like Amanda has as well. But he's been there from day one. He is involved in so much of the stuff that we do behind the scenes, whether it's he's created T-shirt graphics for us. He's currently working on T-shirt graphics for us. He's working on um, theme music for the show as well. He's been on and recommended the worst movie that we've ever talked about on this show. Hey, come on. That's the best <laughs> movie. Shut shut your shut your mouth. Being the the um, semi iconic movie rubber. Um, but Amanda and I would officially like to introduce He created this for us. I'm just showing it. Yeah. Initially, Amanda, Jen, and myself referred to ourselves as the Podmigos and Kevin created the um imagery for that so as well as all of that that i've said about kevin <laughs> drake can shut shut your mouth letters thing <laughs> shut it up <laughs> so really quick mouth letters he's so not I wrong can on, i can let you guys get on with the episode um amanda and i would like to um introduce kevin to everybody <laughs> on the show as an evening at the movies icon it is an honor to officially finally almost two years later bestow the title Mm -hmm. upon you kevin you deserve the honor and we appreciate everything you have done for the show and being a huge fan of the show so thank you kevin for everything that you've done for us you are greatly appreciated so thanks for making me an icon I've always been happy to be part of the show. It's always been fun interacting, and ever since the Overlook days, <laughs> there's a long yeah. history. Yeah. We won't get it all into that because that'll just yay, draw Kevin. out. So, yay, Kevin! It's long overdue, and it's been something we've been trying to do for the last significant amount of months. So, 
We apologize it took so long, but welcome to the group as being an icon on the show. So, eh, it's always been fun. I don't need a I don't need a label to enjoy my time there. <laughs> no, but it's deserved Why? though. So, labels are well, fun. Thank but... you. Now I get to change my name to Icon. You I can. can. No, I can't. Well, I think <laughs> I, I'm I'm happy I'm happy you got to do that in this show, Casey. I truly am. But we will thank start. Thank you for we'll letting have... me do that on your show we oh, planned on doing it on an evening at the movies and i felt like no it was time it needed to be done and it, it's a good way to help introduce kevin we just to have time. the rest of our little maniacal little <laughs> <laughs> so maniacal music all right. musicians. I'm going to go take some freaking medicine and I'm going to go relax. You guys have a good show and thank you for letting me do that introduction. Feel gooder. Thank you, sir. Bye, and Bye, by the way, don't let Chancey talk shit about freaking being the greatest horror knowledge. I am the greatest. <laughs> the greatest. We're not, we're not going. The greatest. No. Ask no, DeAndre. No, I won. How many, how many, like, how many thousands of points Chancey. was I ahead? 3,000? I'm sorry, what? Chancey. Chancey. I didn't do it. They started it. They started it. I I wasn't saying shit. See, he did win. Yes, yes, I did. He did. Well, thank you, DeAndre. And with that, I demand a rematch. And, and right. with that, we will start Have a the good show, guys. Bye, Casey. So the the lineups to be pretty simple on this. It's gonna go my co-host Chancy, and then Amanda because she's a regular on here. And then it's going to go Scott, Vanessa, Jamie, and Kevin. And then I get to bring up the rear, so which I'd like to do. So our first matchup, though, is going to go to Chansey, of course. And it's number 14, People Are Strange by The Doors versus Little Red Riding Hood by Sam the Sham and the Pharaohs. I love both of these songs. I th- I'd have to go with uh, "People Are Strange." I love I love the Red Riding Hood. I used to sing it all the time back in the day, but I mean, "People Are Strange" is iconic. I mean, yes. Well, Amanda, what's your pick? Yeah, I'm bummed out that these two are a first round matchup because I was, these were two of my choices to go far, but I'm going to agree with Chansey. People are strange. It's just, yeah. They're both great songs, but I think that one's better. All right. Oh, Scott, you're next. Okay, well, I'm going to play devil's advocate and go for the other one. <laughs> yes, well, you got to keep it interesting. <laughs> Vanessa, my dear, which way are you going? Uh, people are strange. Well, you would know that better than anybody, I'm pretty sure. So. Oh hell yeah. <laughs> Jamie, I love the devil horns, by the way. Oh, thank you. All right. I mean, people are strange. Why not? Because you have to be odd to be number one. Let's do it. And Kevin, even I though people are strange, fans stranger than usual. When you're a stranger. Yeah, people are strange. All right, which means people are strange is definitely moving on, but I will throw a second vote to Little Red Riding Hood because they had that song in Mafia 3, and I love that freaking song because I used to drive around, <laughs> drive over people in that game all the time listening to that song. So, <laughs> And plus, I think, people, I, I, think, I think People Are Strange is done better by Twisted than by The Doors. I will say that. Excuse me? Oh, you heard me. Okay. You heard me. But people are strange. We'll move on to the next round. So the next matchup will be started by Amanda. And it's going to be the purple people, people eater. Freaking tongue twister. And number 13 by Sheb Wooley. And I hope I'm saying his name right, but I honestly don't know. And is going against number 28. Love potion number nine by the Clovers. Okay, there are some not great songs in this bracket, and you're putting all the best ones up against each other. I hate you. Um, 
You love me. I'm going to go with Love Potion number nine, just because I like it better as a song and I like to jam out to it. Um, they're both iconic Halloween type songs, but yeah. Scott, which way are you going? Going Love Potion. We tried the Vanessa? Purple People Eater one. That was the one in Ernest Scared Straight yeah. or something, right? Okay, yeah. Love yeah. Potion. <laughs> I'm Vanessa, also which love one? potion. Once again, goes in your line of work, so. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Jamie, are you pushing love potion through, or are you going to give the purple pe people eater a little bit of a chance? Um, no, I, I think I'm going to go with love potion number nine. I, I feel like, like Amanda said, that's just one that you can jam out to, and it's just something that's catchy, gets you going. All right, and Kevin. Which way are you going for dexterity purposes? I'm gonna go with the purple people eater, man. I'm a I'm a weird person. I like the weird stuff. It and it's like it reminds me more of Halloween than the love. I mean, love, they're both Halloweeny songs. But when I hear when I had purple people eater, I think Halloween. Well, I agree with you. I mean, I love both these songs, but I do agree with you because I actually haven't heard the purple people eater in years until this playlist, and. I mean, just the idea of a one-eyed, one-horned, purple people eater that wears short shorts makes me laugh. So, It's just a goofy and, song. It's great. It's an earworm, for sure. And when I was, writing, and when I was originally going to write the intro for this episode, I was going to talk about Chansey's one-eyed, one-horned, purple people eater. But, yeah. Yeah, you know I would, Chansey. Does it fly, though? <laughs> uh, I've heard it could do a lot of things with 350 and quarters, long ways. But We're going there. All right. Oh. oh, we go we go there in every episode. Or something. <laughs> I was gonna so, say, does Christopher Reeves fly, Amanda? Nah. Oh God, no, no, no. Stop. <laughs> right over the head of that horse is where he flew. Are we really doing this again? Don't do this. I again. just I don't dropped know. it I'm earlier. And I got I had to drop it like it's okay. hot again. Sorry. Uh, we're we're keeping right. this joke alive, aren't we? Okay. <laughs> yes, and S Scott gets to start this next one up, and. I know Scott doesn't know who this is, or Kevin probably doesn't either, but we are dedicating this one to Harvey, and I hope it goes a certain way for Harvey's sake. But oh, it's it's it number will. twelve. It's number twelve. Bad Moon Rising by CCR. Okay, means Clearwater Revival versus number twenty-seven, Nightmare on My Street by DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. <laughs> Why are you doing this? You know, I, I love the CCR beat, but we're going Jazzy Jeff just for the fun factor. And for Harvey. Yay. Yeah, for those who don't know. <laughs> for, for, for Kevin and yeah, for Harvandre Le Garrison. But for Kevin and Scott's sake, if they don't know, Harvey has a certain not so much love for Will Smith. So Harvandre? Yeah. Yes, thank you. You do it better than I do. You're gonna have to record that. Yeah, he that was a nice way of saying he hates Will Smith to his very core. And Vanessa gets to go next. What were the options again? Bad Moon Rising versus Nightmare on My Street. Bad Moon Rising. Jamie? Oh, oh yeah. Bad Moon Rising. Bad Moon Rising completely. Gavin? It's hard because Bad Moon Rising doesn't make me think Halloween, but I'm also... Yeah, I'm going to go with Nightmare on My Street. Makes me think more Halloween. It's straight up Halloween. <laughs> I really right. hate how you follow up with logical answers after me. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, Fuck I changed my vote. <laughs> so a lot, a lot of my thought process were songs that made me think Halloween. True. I mean, just whatever. <laughs> I mean, it is in the title right. of the show. but. <laughs> so I am going to go for Nightmare on My Street just because it's my cousin introduced me to it at a young age. And it's one of those songs where if I'm driving down a dark road in the woods and it comes on, just because of the Freddy Krueger beats in the background, it makes you like actually start to like get chills. Like it's creepy. And, and you get him rapping, which is amazing. Yep, and it's one of the and it's one of my favorite Will Smith songs, which is saying a lot because I like a lot of his music. So he's one of my favorite rappers, actually. And he's clean. He's one of the only clean rappers I ever listened to. So, Chancy, which way are you going? Are you going to put Nightmare on My Street through for our good friend Harvandre? Uh, wait. Who did I yes. vote for last time? You voted for love, love Potion number nine last time. 
Oh, okay. I couldn't remember. I didn't think I voted. I was like, wait, did I not vote? <laughs> <laughs> uh no i will not be voting for nightmare on my street i'm going with bad moon on the rise which means because... it co- which means it comes down to amanda it's a tie game is it bad moon rising or nightmare on my street this one's I think interesting you know what you have to because do. both of i mean i do know what i am going to do i don't have to do shit but i am gonna do it but <laughs> both of these songs invoke <laughs> scary movie memories i mean if if you know what bad moon rising is from then you know and i can't ever hear that song without thinking of werewolves um oh yeah uh, american werewolf in london it's such a fucked up scene and they're playing it's so weird and then you got nightmare on my street obviously yeah we're going with nightmare on my street i mean come on Uh, mostly for harvey but also you know (laughs) it's a tried harvey i tried it's a it's long-standing a joke. To any, it's a long-standing joke to anything. <clears throat> well, Smith has to win for Harvey's sake, but all right. And that means Vanessa's going to start this next one off, and it's uh, number eleven, "Psycho Killer" by The Talking Heads, versus number twenty-six, "I'm Your Boogeyman" by Rob Zombie. Ooh, Boogeyman. Jamie, which way are you going? Mm. I kind of feel like I'm your boogeyman. Kevin? Uh, the bad moon ride. Or not bad moon ride. <laughs> <laughs> He's hung up on that. <laughs> psycho killer. Another drink for you. <laughs> Even though psycho killer doesn't make me think Halloween, Rob Zombleberry's not going to get any of my votes. Zombleberries? <laughs> Zombleberries. Yeah. That's perfect. That's a- that's a callback to evening at the movies episode, I'm pretty sure. But all right, and yes, I I do like Rob Zombie's music to some degree, but I'm Your Boogeyman is just a ripoff of an even better song from the '70s that was featured in Super Bad. So I'm gonna have to give it to Psycho Killer because I don't like. Oh, actually, that's true. I love covers to a lot to a certain degree, as you'll find out in Maniacal Music Musings with me and Chancy and Casey this week. But Psycho Killer gets my vote because I do like that song. Chancy, which way are you going? Uh, Psycho Killer, because I'm all about the talking heads. Dude, they're awesome. Yeah. Amanda? It's definitely Psycho Killer, because if you were going to include I'm Your Boogeyman, it should have been the Casey and the Sunshine Band version. Not the Fuck yes, it should have. Well, that's not a Halloween song. He did it in a horror way. But, I mean, in only, only I don't the way care. Long, I don't care. For a uh, bull way? Yeah. <laughs> But Scott, but for the dexterity purposes, killer. anybody? All right. So Psycho Killers does move on to the next round to face Nightmare on My Street with a five to two. But the next one is going to be a little bit of a harder one, and it's Jamie starting it out, which I'm kind of happy about. Give me the hard ones, okay? <laughs> oh, I'd love to, Jamie. I'd love to, but it's number ten. Don't That's fear the Reaper by. Said. Don't fear the Reaper by Blue Oyster Cult versus number twenty-five. The Exorcist theme, Tubular Bells. Ooh. Don't fear the Reaper. Kevin, which way are you going? Uh, don't fear the Reaper. It's shorter and it doesn't go through 18 movements that are some of them happy. <laughs> <laughs> it gets a little happy right. in some points in the middle. It's like, it's supposed to be Scoopy. <laughs> like, are we running through a field of wildflowers or are we getting chased <laughs> through the wildflower field? We don't know here. <laughs> Although that is it's an iconic song. It's the first song. few bars that are scary, then you can move yeah. on. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, I, it ends on the same note. I agree. Yeah, I agree. Okay, I, I agree. I can't. I can't vote for something that has no lyrics in this bracket. So I. Oh, okay. There might be an exception to that, depending on what's going against. But 100 percent for <laughs> me, it's be. don't fear. Eh, you you watch your mouth now. For me, it's don't fear the reaper. But and that brings it down to Scott. Which way are you going? Is don't fear the reaper moving on? Not a Blue Oyster Cult fan myself, so we're going to have to go with the elevator music on me. <laughs> hey, it's still a great song. Good composure. No. Yeah. Vanessa, which way are you going? <laughs> um, I'm still kind of giggling at the elevator music. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. Yeah. So what's your answer? 
Reaper. Which means don't feel the Reaper moves on. And did I skip somebody? Quick, quick question here. Again? <laughs> yeah, <bod. laughs> I was I was gonna say I something. Only your co like, only your co I haven't <laughs> fucking I haven't had a single fucking vote this time around. The fucking holy <laughs> fuck. Alright, I'll get to you in a second. I'll get to you in a second, Chancy, but Scott, what's your question? Did, did we get the uh the bracket before we started this? Nope. Oh, okay. I, okay. Didn't. I meant to say, I, I, I didn't. Meant to say you the, I, he I meant to send you the that. playlist. No, I don't do that because I like the element of surprise. But I meant to send you the playlist earlier. That's my bad. But okay, because I do send the playlist out for people to listen to the music. But Chancy, for dexterity purposes, what are you going with? Do you, like? Do, do you mean to say dexterity purposes, or are you trying to say prosperity? <laughs> I think you mean prosperity. Posterity. <laughs> I I I should I switch it up just to fuck with people. But Roll yeah. for uh, it. Oh, uh, because you were fucking with me. I was like, I was like, is, is he is he having a stroke? Like, what's happening right now? Uh, I'm definitely going with Blue Oyster Cult because outside of Don't Fear the Reaper, Godzilla is probably one of my favorite songs of theirs. And every time I hear Blue Oyster Cult even mentioned, my mind immediately goes to Godzilla. So, I mean, Don't Fear the Reaper oh. inherently gets right, my well, vote. All right, well, we'll get to that when we do Blue Oyster Cult in a bracket eventually, but... I Godzilla's my worst, the, my least favorite song by them. So I like <laughs> uh, the, my favorite song is the Something Something Project. I can't remember the freaking guy's name, but and yes, Facebook user, I like to switch things up and make people guess. So yeah, whoops, quick fingers. I forgot to mention least... that Don't Fear the Reaper is tied to the stand in my head. Oh uh, yeah, I, I could I can see that. Is it my turn yet? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't skip you two. Yes, you did. <laughs> How did I go what? from freaking me to Scott? You skipped me and Chancy. <laughs> All right. Well, for po for, for posterity Goodbye. purposes, what do you want for Amanda? <laughs> for dexterity purposes, okay. First of all, <laughs> don't fear the Reaper because a it's in the movie Halloween. Every time I hear Don't Fear the Reaper, I immediately think of Laurie and Annie driving in the car getting high. And two, more cowbell. Enough said. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I so forgot about that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. I'm well, like, nobody's mentioning cowbell or oh, Halloween. What's happening? I forgot. Yes. Well, well I had got this one out. And it's what? number nine. Somebody's Watching Me by Rockwell versus number 24, Dead Man's Party by Ongo Bongo. Oh, it's Oingo Boingo. Yes, yeah, I was going to say, Dead dude. Dead Man's what? It's Oingo, it's Oingo Boingo. Yeah, it's Dead Man's Party by Oingo Boingo versus Somebody's Watching Me by Rockwell. Our decision there, Kevin? Oh, it's on me? Sorry, I didn't know it was on me. Uh, <laughs> Boingo, boingo. Yes, we... Even though I've never heard the song before because I'm uncultured swine. Uncultured. I never heard the song either till this bracket, actually. But yes, you uncultured I'm still not, swine. I'm still not voting for it because <laughs> I love the song Somebody's Watching Me because of a classic Family Guy scene, but and also because I thought it was Michael Jackson for the longest time before I learned it was. <laughs> there it is. I, I I swear to God, I thought it was Michael. I thought it was Michael I Jackson. Did too. Like, I did I'll I'll be that dumb with you. I mean, I thought it was Michael Jackson. Like when he like, when all that child shit was coming out, and like, and he felt like Pop Rocher was watching him. But so I don't know. That's just where my head went when I heard that song the first time. But <laughs> Chanty, which way are you going? I'm going with someone's watching me because that's fucking. I love that song. It's a great song. Amanda. As much as I want to vote for Oingo Boingo because of Danny Elfman, you got to go with Somebody's Watching Me. It's such a, a great song. And yes, I thought uh, it was Michael too. Jeremy, you're not alone. You're not it alone. Sounds, it sounds that, like him. It, that's another Michael Jackson <laughs> reference right alone, there. Look at that. <laughs> and I didn't and, even do that on purpose. Thanks, Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> and Scott, what's your choice? I'm going to have to have one of you each sing each song because i have no idea what either one of them are so uh it's 
Yeah, I'm out. Somebody... <laughs> I always feel like somebody's, somebody's watching, watching me. me. Okay, I, yeah, I thought that was Michael you Jackson. You had to at What's least turn one? it up commercials. See? The other one? What commercial was it, though? I'm drawing yeah. a blank. It was either Target or Gap, Ooh, I feel I like. It. I think it was a Target commercial. Yeah, right, I don't know. Up. I'm going <laughs> to uh, flip a coin for, for my pick. <laughs> I'll go with the to lowest. Be fair, pick. This song wasn't a Friday the Thirteenth movie. If that helps right, well, anybody's voting choices, but he, he put the coin to go the lowest, so he's going with Dead Man's Party. <laughs> so sounds good. Vanessa, which way are you going? Somebody's watching me. That's been stuck in my head all day. Well, oh, I mean, yeah. I mean, you're used to that, so. <laughs> <laughs> It's okay to let right. some of them go, oh, Jeremy. Yep. <laughs> Jamie, which way are you going? This, even though somebody's watching me, is going on. Um, definitely that, because you play that song at the right moment, and if it's slightly creepy, it just gives it the extra, like, okay, I got you. Mm-hmm. Like, let's go, move on. <laughs> All right, so somebody's watching me. We'll move on to face. Don't fear the Reaper in the next round, and finally, Ooh. I get to start one off, and. It's number eight, the Halloween theme by John Carpenter, versus number 23, They're Coming to Take Me Away by, and if I remember my Roman numerals uh-huh. right, it's Halloween. Napoleon the 14th. So, and I actually have to go with uh, Halloween theme, even though the whole time I was here, every time I heard They're Coming to Take Me Away, I kept thinking of Chansey. I grew up listening to that song, so I mean... Well, I was waiting. Certain, certain things. Yeah, to do no, with the, the had yeah, Dr. Well, Doctor Demento, Rome. but like they also had tapes you could buy with a bunch of wacky songs on it. Yeah, they they had the same thing with CDs you could buy with a bunch of dirty songs from the seventies and eighties on it. That's right. why I learned about lick, that's why I learned about Lick It Up by Kiss. But Lick It Up, oh my god! I, I remember. I, I, I uh, what was the choices again? The Halloween theme versus their coming. Oh, yeah, that's the one. The yeah, yeah, I know. I'm going with the Halloween theme, like, for sure. Amanda, are you going to piss Casey off or are you going to. It's absolutely. Go? No, it's absolutely John Carpenter's masterpiece until it wins or loses. So. And I'm, and I'm guessing that's Freddy. So, because we all know his love for Halloween. Fuck yeah, you, no doubt, Freddy. Right? <laughs> it's either Facebook Freddy user. or CJ. Fornicate you. <laughs> <laughs> it might be CJ. He hates Halloween with a passion. Oh I, no! It's Freddy. I'm pretty sure. I don't but... trust anyone that hates Halloween. But John, <laughs> right. where are you going? Huh? Me? You going? Yep. You going with Halloween or I'm, they're coming? No, to take I'm me going away? with they're coming to take me away. That Halloween thing got too popular on TikTok. They put it on everything. True. Vanessa, which way you going? It's a masterpiece. Halloween. I just don't remember what the other one is. <laughs> it's not significant. I, I, dude, I almost it. remember most of the words too. It I mean, like I didn't even have to listen to the screen too, too, screen list. It feels yeah, it's like Friday. a marching song. It feels like something you march to. Coming to take me away, haha. <laughs> it seriously sounds uh-huh. like it's from like. It sounds like it's from a Beatles album almost. With that, that it's got like a tiny yeah. Tim yeah. and Beatles yeah. feel to it. It just right. something's creepy about it. I'm good. It's just awkward. Well, Halloween theme is moving on, but Jamie, what are you picking? Halloween theme, because that's probably going to be the only thing I ever learned to play on the piano, just so I can dress up in my Halloween outfit and go in public. Nice. <laughs> and just play it randomly. <laughs> Kevin, which way can you go going? With the name, for... Can you go with the namesake of the bracket? <laughs> Okay, which makes it easy because then it's six to one for Halloween theme. And it is time for our first play in because it needs something to go against the next one. And it's going to be starting with Back to Chansey again. Which is it going to be Would You Love a Monster Man by Lordy versus Thug Pit by Insane Clown Posse featuring Bone Thugs and Harmony, Cottonmouth Kings, Esham, and Tech Nine? What? <laughs> That was a lot of information. Yeah, that, I feel Jesus. like we needed to say that three times so I get that all in. <laughs> it's Would You Love a Monster Man by Lordy 
who has been on Monaco Music Musings before, and I believe Shanna's episode. Yeah. Versus Thug Pit by Insane Clown Posse. And thank you, Freddie. I love you too. It's Thug Pit by Insane Clown Posse featuring Cottonmouth Kings, Bone Thugs in Harmony, Esham, and Tech Nine. You know what? I'll go with that one. Thug Pit? <laughs> I'll go with Thug Pit. Yeah. I figured you would for the rugged thuggish bone, but well, I mean, like Tech Nine. I'm big. I'm a big Tech Nine fan. I mean, and it is it is the best Hollow Wicked song that ICP ever did. Even though they did a lot of them because they do whenever they do a CD every year for Hollow Wicked. But Amanda, which way are you going? My vote is for "I Was a Teenage Werewolf" by the Cramps because that should have been here in place of either one or, or both of these songs. <laughs> I'm going with her. <laughs> I had to throw. Don't worry. And oh, just so everybody knows, all three play-ins are rap versus rock. Because I did that on purpose. Or nice. My other vote will be for the Freaks Come Out at Night by Houdini. Again, better than both of these songs. What about spooky, okay, scary sorry. skeletons and shivers yeah. on your spine? Yes. Yes. Get okay, it. I'll. <clears throat> I don't care about either of these songs, so I'll vote for ICP for you. And this one did have a good, like a good beat, so I'll go with that. Did you play? Did you play <laughs> at your Halloween party? That's what I want to know. And Kevin can, Kevin can verify. No, it. I did not. I My wasn't Halloween at her Halloween was... party. <laughs> oh, I thought you were. I thought you were. Yeah, going Kevin was. He's in Wisconsin, dude. I'm in Texas. He didn't really come. <laughs> Although it would be cool if he did. But All right, well, I like that comment on the California love little collaboration yes. there. That that's true. That's true. Well, when, the, when, ICP does, when ICP does Hall of Wicked, they bring all the friends usually. So, which brings it, which brings it down to Scott. Which way are you going? Cramps is off the table. Yes. Apparently. Okay. I guess I'll do your ICP one. And Vanessa, is ICP moving on? Mm-hmm. Yep. Man, Lori's getting no love, but. And Would You Love a Monster Man is actually an amazing song. Like I, I, I've used that for my love life many times. But Jamie, which way are you going? <laughs> um, I want to make this clear. I'm not voting for ICP. I'm voting for Cottonmouth Kings and a little bit of Bone Thugs up into that thug pit. Just not yeah, ICP. Tech nine. Just saying. Tech Nine too, but I mean, no, it's really Cottonmouth Kings. <laughs> All right, and, and, and yeah, and yes, Freddie. Pumpkin Carver is an amazing song by ICP. I will say that, but I had to put Thug Pit in here because of all the one. names on it. I will introduce you to ICP and ICP bracket eventually, and you will love them. Which brings it down to Kevin. I see no. I'm going with Lurdy. <laughs> you, I see did, did no. You, he says. Did you actually I listen to the Lordy song though? Accent. I did. I, musically, I like the style of that one more. I, I like. I wouldn't listen to it like I wouldn't go out of my way to listen to it. But musically, I like that more than what I heard in the Thug Pit song. Like, I'm just not that big into rap. It's like I'm very picky on my raps. I like. Yeah. Yes, Freddie. I already know when we do an ICP bracket, you're going to be in it because I think I'm going to be needing people for that bracket regardless. So, <laughs> it's, it's you're, and I was going to come to you first because I know you're an ICP fan, and DeAndre is also a underground juggalo, but. Which brings it down to me last, and I I love both these songs, so I'm going to throw Would You Love a Monster Man a second vote, because Lordy is basically the new version of Guar, and they're amazing. So, I love them, and they'll be back on Maniacal Music Musings again, and again, and again, and again, and again, because they have a lot of albums. So, Amanda gets to start the next matchup <laughs> off, and it is going to be number f- 15, Dragula by Rob Zombie. Versus Thug Pit. Um, so actually, you will be proud of me because my Halloween party, which was last night, my playlist consisted almost exclusively of the Cramps, um, the Misfits, and the House of a Thousand Corpses uh, soundtrack or whatever. So Dragula was on there, and I do, again, I like the beat and the tempo of that one, so I'm going to go with that. <laughs> and I didn't say, but Dragula well, I'm not a is a huge zombie, zombie fan, Bruno. but... Yeah. Yeah. Dragula is one of his better songs, definitely. And yeah. Scott, which way are you going? Not a huge Rob Zombie fan or ICP, so but I got to go with Rob Zombie on that one. Vanessa? Rob Zombie. 
Jamie? I... Is Rob Zombie moving on? Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah, I remember listening to that album back in like 7th, 8th grade and falling in love. It was Dragula that made me fall in love with Rob Zombie. So yeah, definitely. <laughs> Kevin, which way you going? I said Zob Rumbleberry won't get any of my votes, but he's getting it this time. <laughs> it's the halftime uh, oh. ad roll read for the, the podcast, The King Cast. So I hear it like every week. So it's been bedded in my memory. All right. It's my vote, and I love Dragula. It's Rob Zombie's best song on this bracket, mm -hmm. I will say. And I, but I gotta give a vote to, I gotta get Thugpit a vote because I'm not that nice to peek out without a vote. So fuck that. And Chancy, you get to bring up the rear. Sorry. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm definitely gonna go with Dragula because, uh, I myself got into, you know, White Zombie with Thunder Kiss 65. Yeah. But, uh, you know, Dragula was all right when it like when it came to his solo stuff. Like Dragula was about as far as I went with it. Everything else was just kind of like, can we bring White Zombie back? Can we do that? Kevin? Can that be a thing? What? I, oh, no, I asked. Sorry. Can we can we bring White Zombie back? Yeah, I, I agree with that. But which brings yes. us to the next. Which brings us to the next side of this bracket, and Scott gets to start us off. And it's number seven, Time Warp by the cast of Rocky Horror Picture Show, versus number four, number forty six because I had to throw it in there, Number of the Beast by Iron Maiden. Ah, uh, shoot, man, you're throwing a lot of sticks. We're gonna have to go with Iron Maiden, I guess. Oh, you bastard, Vanessa. Wow. <laughs> what was the first one again? The Time Warp by the. Oh yeah. <laughs> Rocky Horror Picture Show. Uh, uh, Rocky Horror yeah, Picture that Comedy. one. And Jamie? Time Warp versus what? Number of the Number Beast, of the by, Beast Iron by Iron Maiden. Okay, so fun fact, I've never seen a Rocky Horror Picture Show or anything, so I'm going to give my vote Me the other way. Me either. But you've but heard I, the Time Warp song, right? Yeah. I have, and I'll get into that and when we get well, to my have turn. You but... not? No, I'm, Fre I'm sure Fre I have, but I don't know. Frey says Time Warp, and I know why, and I'm going to bring that up and pretty much get to my turn. Don't worry. But, <laughs> Kevin, which way are you going? I've only seen the first half of Rocky Horror Picture Show years ago. I need to watch the whole thing, but I still have heard the Time Warp plenty of times enough to know that's a banger of a song, and I'll vote, I'll vote for that. It's a banger. <laughs> Yeah, Mister, I never listen to Iron Maiden. It is for this bracket, but hey, I've heard Iron Maiden. I didn't. I I just do not enjoy them. You are that, that is a travesty to hear. But it's my vote, and I am gonna vote for Number of the Beast because it's one of Iron Maiden's best songs, and it's I love everything Iron Maiden, and Number of the Beast is an amazing freaking song, and Time Warp was better done on Glee. Boom, bomb dropped. Ew. It never seems yes. no glee. It's an amazing show, and you would love it because you love music. But it's a good show. Or it was. I hate music. Wasn't that like a CW? Fox. <laughs> it was a Fox. It, it was a Fox show. Girl show. Oh, okay. It, no, it was a Fox show about people overcoming difficulties in high school by singing. Ah. It's like the TV Must version of Pitch one. Perfect and with more drama. <laughs> mm -hmm. it, it is. It is twenty times better than Pitch Perfect. You shut your damn mouth. But, hey, I love Pitch Perfect. I don't know how the hell I missed that one. Chancy, your vote's next. Is Number of the Beast moving on, or are you going to Time Warp? Yes, it's Number of the Beast is moving on, because, I mean, I love the Rocky Horror Picture Show. It's about mm -hmm. the only musical that you'll ever hear me say that I like, but it's only because of Tim Curry. Yeah, I was going to say it's Tim Curry. But, uh... Who was not the no, I, I, I saying Fun, fun fact, though, uh, the number of the beast that that guitar riff is actually uh, a different timed version of when the Saints go marching in. I didn't know that, but I'm now going to listen for that next time I listen to what you're saying. Yeah, dude, because it, like it's just literally they go dun 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 dun. It's dude. Same thing with. Uh, we're not going to take it by Twisted Sister. The guitar solo on that song is a modified version of Oh Come All You Faithful. 
Uh, good to know. Chance Seriously, to listen, that. listen to it, really? and for real, go yeah. through it and listen to it again. And when it gets okay. that solo, okay. you tell me you don't immediately pick it up. Okay. But which brings it down to Amanda to finish it off, even though Number of the Beast is moving on. It's fucking time warp, and I can't believe any of you people. <laughs> I'm with you, Amanda. I mean, I'm I mean, you. I'm gonna vote for Time Warp. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion, I guess. Yes, <laughs> but and that means that <laughs> Vanessa gets to start the next one, if I'm not mistaken, and it's number six, Werewolves of London by Warren Zevon, versus number twenty-one, Black Sabbath by Black Sabbath. Really? Like, um, yeah, really. I don't remember <gasps> either of them. What was the other um, one? Well, it's Sweet Home Where- Alabama versus the other one. <laughs> Werewol- it, it's Werewolves of London versus Black Sabbath. Sure, let's go with the werewolf one. So, Jamie, what's your pick? I think we're going to pull a chance and go, yep. I've got to repeat her. <laughs> werewolf of London. <laughs> uh, and that brings it down to Kevin werewolves which brings it down to me and yes i am making werewolves of london go through because i love that song i have for years it's always been one of my favorite classic rock songs and that brings it back up to chancy and who is so pissed right now because black sabbath they even get a vote yet even <laughs> dude black sabbath is the first metal song that i listened to like i was like five years old and my mother dropped me off at her little sister's house for being babysat and it was playing on one of them like whole like you know how you had the record the play like the whole set stereo kind of thing and it was playing and it starts off with the rainfall then it hits those three notes on that guitar and up until that point the only thing i listened to was like classical music motown and like oldies from the oldies station on the radio and hearing those three notes like reached into my soul and it was like what in the fuck is this i must have more and then ozzy's weird ass voice comes in after the fact and it's just it's the rest is fucking history how the i mean i love werewolves of london don't get me wrong but for fuck's sake, Black Sabbath, Black Sabbath is fucking... They use the tritones, man. The tritones. I'm sorry. End of rant. <laughs> Only you, Chancy. Only you. But <laughs> Amanda, you go next. Well, I want to know what Facebook user was saying, because I know you can't type a lot of cuss words in there or stream yard or ban well, it. I think no, they were trying I to was... say werewolves, you fucking twat. No, before that. I'm going to say oh, that's yeah. really fucking twat. That sounds about right. I mean, we have four watchers, so it could be Freddy or it could be someone else. I don't know. <laughs> people, need, people need to give StreamYard permission to put the profile on. That's I said a woo. Oh, is that you? That you? <laughs> that's funny. Well, um, Am- I'll go Amanda, with werewolves. Doing? I'll follow Chansey's TED Talk and go with werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> And actually, okay, whoever did that did that on purpose, actually. So I'm guessing that's Freddy, because he would do that on purpose. But yeah, if, there, you, if you type but... anything in there that's too... Because I've done it. They won't They won't even send it to you. It'll say StreamYard oh, didn't approve this I'm sure. or whatever. You are, the, you are the queen of Facebook jail. But... <laughs> that is true. I just got out, Scott, so... Scott, you get to finish it up. Which way are you going just for possible Sabbath. charity here? The man said Sabbath. Okay, I, I, did not, I, I did not hear that. It cut, it, it cut out when he said it. Like I, I heard, like a, I heard him say something, and then it cut out in the middle. So, but all right, it's which thank you, Scott. That, thank you, Scott. Which, which me, which means Jamie gets to start the next one, and this might be a little bit of a hard one to pick from. It's number five. I put a spell on you by Screaming Jay Hawkins, versus number twenty. Witchy Woman by e- the Eagles. <clears throat> very classic. I put a spell on you. Like, I feel very wrong for voting against it. 
but witchy woman i don't know i really like that song so and we're t- i'm gonna do it and we're talking and in a classic Seinfeld, I must say, we're talking about witchy woman versus the witch a woman. But <laughs> God, 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 God bring back God, God bring back the Seinfeld versus the lane argument on that one. But Kevin, which way you going? And yes, it's from Hocus Pocus. A spell on you is as everybody as I was hope I would hope everybody knows. But. No, this is the original version that was on this bracket, not the Hocus Pocus version. Well, yes, yeah. because I'm not going to put the true. Hocus version on a bracket. I tried to keep all original artists in this bracket. You, and now you're otherwise, gone. It, it, otherwise, people are strange would have been twisted if I put on remakes. But I'm gonna go with I put a spell on you. Such a good song, and the music video is wacky. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna have to agree because I like Witchy Woman. I do. It's a good song, but I put a spell on you because of Hocus Pocus, which I've been watching for the last 25 years. Mm-hmm. I had to do I put a spell on you because I've heard that song before I even ever heard the original. So, but that brings it back to Chansey. Man, I've had a really long day and I just fucking hate the Eagles, man. All right. <gasps> oh, sorry. I figured somebody would get the Big Lebowski reference. My bad. Oh, <laughs> oh. I, I thought you were, I thought you were, I thought you were gasping at the comment, but I'm like, yeah, Mansi. She was about no, she was gasping. Oh, she was gasping, was gasping, gasping at, at me. Nancy. Yeah. I know, no, no. We lost Kevin for a second. Lost Kevin. But, yeah, no, I'm I'm going with Witchy Woman, dude, because the Eagles. That's a good song. Like I put a spell on spell on you. It's it's good and whatever, but it, like, it's the Eagles, man. As much as I love to hate them. I mean, I like you can't deny good music, and Witchy Woman right. is is it's a good song. It just gets well, stuck in your head so easy. Well, Amanda, it's all, it, it's all tied up. Amanda, so, which way are you going? I, as much as I love the Eagles, I actually prefer the Hollies version of Witchy Woman better. Um, but I'm gonna go with I put a spell on you because it's just yeah, classic. They both are, but. She's uh, only doing it because I said I hate the Eagles. I mean, she's also I pissed because I whipped that. She's also mad because I beat her ass in trivia. God damn it! But Scott, which way are you going? I'm gonna go with Witchy Woman because I know you liked that Hocus Pocus too, and that's gonna be my uh, vote against Hocus Pocus too. Oh well, I put spawn you in Hocus Pocus one, not Hocus Pocus two. Yeah, and and Hocus do it Pocus that's just one? the point. <laughs> nope. In Hocus Pocus 2, they do an awesome Elton John uh, remake. Uh, but, and but I liked I, that movie. Yes, yeah, me too. Hocus <laughs> Pocus 2? Yeah. Yeah, they made a read one after, they, after like look? 30 years. Oh, so old. Oh, my God. Don't care. The storyline's great. How it yeah. meshes with the old the storyline. No, but it's now... sung like four times in the movie. I love it's it. It's good enough, well enough alone, man. Come on. And they also, they also do another good song in that, too, and it leads to an awesome flash mob. With my boyfriend, Russell Development, in the middle of it, but <laughs> yes, I think it's with the fact that they gave Sarah a middle part when she's clearly a side part girl, like <laughs> why? <laughs> why do you have to take We're her? We're going there. <laughs> they should have done the bangs thing for her because man, she uh. looks fucking old. But <laughs> yeah, a little rough, a little rough being Shots a witch fired. all these years. <laughs> where, where, where's DeAndre with that soundboard? Shots fired, but. Vanessa. Oh, shit. That, Vanessa, somebody called Vanessa, the burn ward. It's a tie. <laughs> and you're you get to choose who wins this one. Uh I'm going hocus pocus. I put a spell on you. That's my girl. And uh, eh, I'm not gonna say what I want to say to that one, but okay. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you finally and, let one go. Good for you. <laughs> let uh, it go. Ask my wife. I let him go all the time, but Kevin gets to start the next one up, and it's number four, the Ghostbusters theme by Ray Parker Jr. versus number 31, Abracadabra by the Steve Miller Band. Oh, that's that's hard. I want to go on record in saying before anybody takes a vote that if you vote for the Ghostbusters theme, you are a uh, plagiarizing sympathizer. So there's that. Take but that into consideration not, before you. They plagiarize. <laughs> no, they they settle out of court 
because they plagiarized Huey Lewis in the news. They did not. That they did no too. Look it up. Plagiarizing Queen if, and David. And they ripped them off hard. And if anybody like knows it. music, if anybody knows music facts, it's 100 percent chancy. And since I know he's watching right now, congratulations, DeAndre Robinson, on getting engaged to his girlfriend a couple minutes ago. Hey, congratulations. <laughs> And Thanks, Jerry. I agree. I kind of I agree. agree. I agree with that too. But I will say that I'm still waiting on uh, Kevin to give me his vote on this one. Well, yeah, we're talking. So I'm going to go with uh, uh, Abracadabra because when I saw Steve Miller Band live, my friends I was with pulled us away from the the encore, so I got to hear that song from the freaking parking lot of Rockfest. Oh man! Biggest letdown ever. They were great, though. But I'm going to go with Abracadabra. And I'm going to agree with you, because as I said, I cannot... I mean, Ghostbusters does have lyrics, but and as soon as it came on the car yesterday, my kids were singing along to it, but I do love Abracadabra, and even though I originally thought it was a Blue Oyster Cult song for the longest time, for I knew it was Steve Miller, but don't ask me why. Actually, I know why. Because LimeWire, someone put it in as a Blue Oyster Cult song on LimeWire, and that oh, and God, I downloaded Lime it. Wire. Yep. I'm aging myself there, but which brings it back up to Chansey. <clears throat> I'm going with the Steve Miller band. Amanda? Because I'm not a plagiarizing on? sympathizer. <laughs> Calm down there, Chansey. <laughs> I settled and all that shit, but. Hey, Casey, where's mine? Ghostbusters barely. <laughs> it, it's barely. My pocket. What? What? Oh, because Casey. Chancey, Chancey was getting kissed by Casey, so. Ew, Chancey's kitties. Girlfriend, Chancey's, girlfriend was, it, it, Chancey's girlfriend was named Casey, too. At least in confusion, but. I know, it got me pretty confused the other day, because I thought, I thought, I thought, like, because, like, I was on their show, and, like, I thought that there was a just like I got like I was like I was talking to Casey and then I was talking to Amanda and I was like no Casey's wrong Casey my Casey not that Casey <laughs> Amanda this is what I'm trying to say it was probably the funniest thing of all time but um, Amanda what are you doing is Abracadabra moving on or are you going for Ghostbusters okay so first of all if you really if you really want to age yourself if you really want to age yourself you got to go back to napster napster <laughs> i just really got my music off of napster from huey lewis yeah i was using a program called aries it had chat rooms built into it Can't yeah wait. that's uh that was a little wow weird. <laughs> that's a that's a big new big new world yeah no i remember back when napster like before the lawsuit and everything, yep. when it was I just started, free for yeah, all. I started on Napster before the lawsuit, too. And then that's when yep. I switched to Aries, was after the lawsuit. Yeah, me too. It would take I like two hours to download a 30 second Spaz song and then somebody yes. start all over again. <laughs> I will say, goddamn, I will say, goddamn Metallica for Napster. But yeah. Lars Ulrich, it's not, no, no, it's not the band, it's just the drummer, dude. Fuck that one guy, that one fucking asshole. <laughs> He's not even a good drummer anyway. Oh. Amanda, what are you going with? Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. <clears throat> but, the eyes are... but, Scott, which way are you going? Is Abracadabra going to the next round? Abra yeah, that was the one. I, I hate the Ghostbusters theme song. That's the most un-American thing I've ever heard on this show. Yeah, but... You made you made Amanda leave. <laughs> oh, trust me, I've made Amanda I've made Amanda leave before for saying work shit. But <laughs> Vanessa, which way are you going? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have um, to... I'm going abracadabra, but I do love the Ghostbusters. I only got to watch the second one over and over and over again on cable. I've only seen the first one like once. So. And yes, the that's, second one that's true. That, that's true. Freddie made Amanda cry. So. <laughs> Freddie did make me cry. That's terrible. Uh, 
Well, I'm sure he's made uh, women cry in the past as well. We all have. Men are horrible. This is my Stay Puffed Build-A-Bear. He plays the song and he smells like marshmallow. Oh, and yell at you guys. I Jamie? love one. I love which way you going? Which way are you going, so even though Abra moving on? I mean, I like uh, Ghostbusters <clears throat> theme, but the awkwardness of the Abracadabra video that I just looked at, I have to vote for that. <laughs> <laughs> so awkward. It made me feel weird. All right. And <laughs> I start judges next, you all. <sighs> I, I start this next one out, and I am happy I do, because I get to express something I truly hate. And it's number three, This is Halloween by Danny Elfman, versus 18, Living Dead Girl by Rob Zombie. And oh. fuck Nightmare Before Christmas. I'm going Rob Zombie. See, what I thought when he said, wrong with you? I okay. thought when he said 18, I thought he was talking about Alice Cooper. And I got excited for a second. I was like, <laughs> no. That was in the Freaks and Geeks Halloween episode. Yes, it was. Yes, yeah. it was. And Freddie says, yes, and I've, I have, and I've earned every tear. You got I'm the sure best song on the bracket going against Sob Rumbleberry? <laughs> Kevin, I knew you'd have an issue with that. That's why you're going last in this one. <laughs> way, but still. <laughs> Chancy, which way are you going? Here. Rob Zombie or yeah. Disney? You're muted, Chancy. You're muted. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw I saw the light. I saw the light. Uh I'm going with <laughs> This is Halloween because uh the Nightmare Before Christmas is it's a good it's a good movie. And if I would have actually stuck out choir, I would have uh, ended up doing Jack Skellington in the uh, in the play version of it. Oh. Well, if he did, if he, well, I mean, if he didn't notice my name, that's my hatred for Nightmare for Nightmare for Christmas right there in my name. But but yes, and it is. Well, and the word, uh, you know what, my my rebuttal to that is long tall Sally. She's real sweet. She's got everything that Uncle John need, baby. Chancy, chancy, chancy. Amanda, what's your pick? Even though I pretty much already know. This is Halloween. Scott? Halloween. Not a Rob Zombie fan, but I mean, I go into it with my family all the time. Nightmare Before Christmas is a Christmas movie, not a Halloween movie. So we're going Rob Zombie. It's both. It is not. It can't be both. It's both. It absolutely it can't be both. It's two hundred percent both. No, no, yes. no, no, no. Stay puffed is judging I you. I will Who say directed that the movie for the oh. Kevin guy. Who directed the movie? Who directed what did Tim Burton? Say? Christmas. Yeah. Tim Burton. Uh, Tim Wasn't Burton it? did not direct. Yeah, no, the movie. he was a producer. I, don't, I forgot who directed. Oh yeah, the movie. yeah, yeah. There you go. Was it Henry Selleck? Wait, wait a minute. Was it Henry Selleck? Right, so, what are you talking about NBC for? Are, are you talking about Christmas. Henry Selleck? Yeah, because he went on to do all the Likea Studios, like Coraline and stuff. Like yeah, Henry yeah, Selleck's... but that's all I'm saying. All these big Nightmare Before Christmas fans, Thanksgiving movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put it right oh, in between because it, it is kind of both, but 200. percent I didn't get good grades right. in math, but no thanks. <laughs> thanks Thanksgiving. Before movie. before I move on to Vanessa, I will say I did love the Nightmare Before Christmas Kingdom Hearts level. That's the only thing I'll say about good about that movie ever. But Vanessa, which way are you going? Oh, I'm definitely going. This is Halloween. Yeah. Halloween and Christmas. All right. Well, Jamie, you can either. Move this Halloween to the next <laughs> round, or you can make Kevin decide in a tie next. So it's going to be the same thing no matter what you do. Well, I was going to say, I mean, this is Halloween. I do feel like that movie is split between the two holidays. Mm -hmm. And I love Rob Zombie. But I'm going to give it to this is Halloween. Which means it's moving on to the next round. But everybody know. scream. Everybody I'm so scream. <laughs> and I and, and this is this, this and this is the second song in this bracket. I'll say Marilyn Manson did better, but I like Manson's version for sure. I mean, it doesn't matter as to who did it better or not, because I mean, it's a movie. Now, if we're taking two separate songs by two separate artists, like Deftones and then you know uh, Leonard Skinner doing Simple Man, that'd be something, but. 
I do definitely enjoy Manson's remix uh, or remake or cover, if you will, of the This is Halloween. He did an amazing job on it. And Kevin, I will give you a chance to say what you are going for, I, even though I already know it. I'm so glad I'm at the end so then nobody can judge off of my comment of I don't care if it's a cat's remake. I'm going with This is Halloween. <laughs> <laughs> And we are going to do the last matchup of this side before we get into the play-ins. And it is number two, Monster Mash by Bobby Boris Pickett and the Crypt Kids versus number 17, Welcome to My Nightmare by Alice Cooper. And it started off by Chansey because it's back. We went around the horn two times. Okay, so what was the first one before Alice Cooper? Monster Mash. Oh, yeah, that one. I mean, I love it. It's a classic, but it's not fucking Alice Cooper, dude. (laughs) Like, it's Alice fucking Cooper, man. I wish that guy was my dad or my great, like, my grandfather or my uncle. That guy is so fucking cool. I mean... Dude, I grew up like it was the Eisenhower administration, Freddy. I heard the Monster Mash more times than I care to count. Man, Alice Cooper is the fucking she's knight. Yes, I, and he's also the ugliest woman I've ever seen in the world of Giant Depp. He but. is the ugliest <laughs> woman I have ever seen. But Amanda, which way are you going? Welcome to My Nightmare is a cool song. It's really Mm. trippy. Like, I feel like if you were high or on acid, it would be like, wow. But it's Monster Mash. Yeah. Monster Mash is the quintessential Halloween song that we all grew up with. When you heard it on the radio or the TV, you knew it was October. It's Monster Mash. All right. And thank you. Scott. Monster Mash by The Misfits 3. Yes. Nice. Dude. That's a good version. Dude, I I mean, if he threw if it would have been that one, that would have been a hard choice for me to choose. But yeah, dude, kudos on you for that callback, dude. For real. Oh, and actually I didn't get to say it's the beginning of the show like I wanted to, but Thriller was number one, but I actually didn't put it in the bracket because I just felt felt like it would dominate everything. And we already did well, it. I mean, actually. And we did, and we did a Michael Jackson bracket as our first bracket. So I didn't want to bring in Thriller like a month or two later. So when you know. is Danzig's Halloween coming in? Uh, it's not, but oh. it's I not. Ha- blame Ranker, blame Ranker. I did not make these rankings, but you could have changed it up. You took Thriller out. You could have added Houdini. Or <laughs> exactly. Of this Rob Zombie I bullshit. Never, I never heard of Houdini, but all right. The so freaks come out at night. Such Vanessa, which way are you going? Alice Cooper or Monster Mash? Mm, as much as I like Alice Cooper, it's got to be the Mash. All right. Jamie, Sorry is Monster that. Mash moving on to the next round or are you doing Alice Cooper? <laughs> Absolutely. It's moving on to the next round. I feel the same. All right. And posers. Uh, it's gonna suck. <laughs> Not a poser. <laughs> just stay real to the freaking I'm just. Topic, you I'm just the one thing is though is that stop. I got one, two. I got at least hey, three laughs Chanty, out of that. Chanty, Chanty, <laughs> yes, sir. Chanty, they're all fucked next yes, round because it's going to. It, it fuck next round because it's going against. This is Halloween, so. Oh, well, you know. That one stayed around. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it won. Yeah, it won. Uh, Kevin, which way are you going? It was a graveyard smash. <laughs> that was pretty good. That was pretty good, man. Kevin, that was Kevin good. Some great voice I like that. Have a play. Oh, Dude, I, I fucking my vote that's awesome. doesn't matter. I agree with Chancy. I am not a fan of Monster Mash, though I did like the version that Zoidberg did on Futurama. But I will go with Welcome to My Nightmare by Alice Cooper, even though it doesn't matter at this point. <laughs> and that brings us to our third play-in to do the next round, and. It's going to be Iron Maiden's Fear the Dark, which is number 43, versus the Fat Boys, Are You Ready for Freddy, which I add into this bracket because you couldn't have a Halloween bracket without Are You Ready for Freddy. 
And it's going to so start with So you can Amanda. take stuff and add stuff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good she's never going to let it. Let it. <laughs> she's so yeah. yeah. She's, she's never going to let you live it down, she's man. Bastard. She Amanda. might actually be representing Bitter Bastard right now with me and Bracket Bastards with this because I'm feeling it too. <laughs> Amanda, I'm the host. I can do whatever the hell I want. So. Ooh, Which way are you going? Because I said so. Oh, me? I'm voting for I Was a Teenage Werewolf by the Cramps. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> right, <good one. laughs> just just because a woman feels like a werewolf when she has the cramps. Now, what's your choice? <laughs> you can eat my entire ass. Shut up. <laughs> Why are you threatening him with a good time? What are you doing? You're just fucking around and threatening him with a good time. Like, That's what just... kind of punishment is that? That's like, oh, shit. <laughs> I can see Jeremy. Did you not see him? His whole ass face lit up. Like, I was looking at it through part of my peripheral, and I saw his ass light up. I'm looking at you on your screen while you're, see while you're saying it, simultaneously seeing his screen just go, <gasps> Jesus, Harold's the dog. And yes, Freddie, with a spoon, I would do that, but... You'd need well, one. Make sure you put the put the spoon in the freezer for like five minutes or so, so that way it gives a little bit of a shock before you go oh, in God. there. Okay, this is taking a turn. What were the choices? Oh, my again? God. <laughs> Fear of the Dark by Iron Maiden versus Are You Ready for Freddy by the Fat Boys. Uh, are you ready for Freddy? And Scott, what's your pick? What was what was it again? Fear of the Dark by Iron Maiden versus Are You Ready for Freddy by the Fat Boys. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Iron Maiden. I haven't heard the other one. Vanessa? Uh, Freddy. Jamie? Uh, Algry, are you ready for Freddy? Kevin? Spooky, scary skeletons. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that should have been on here. I mean, Freddy, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. All right, which means, which means I'm ready for Freddy <laughs> moves on into the next round. Oh, well, into the first round. So uh. I will throw <laughs> my vote, of course, for Fear of the Dark because it's one of my favorite I main songs as well. And that's when both I saw when I saw both those songs were ranked, I had to throw them in. But Chancy, what's your vote for just for posterity? Dexterity. Obviously, I, say, it's I like fucking, it both ways. Uh, it's Iron Maiden. It, yeah. It's Iron Maiden, obviously, but I ain't nothing left but right. whining in the crying. Well, that's pretty good because I'm ready for Freddy is going to be facing Casey from Eating at the Movies, favorite Halloween movie, Season of the Witch by Donovan. Oh, it's such a good song. Yeah. Oh, that's a good song. Such a good song. It's I an fucking love that song. song. And the first, the and the first vote. Of the, witch. the first vote goes to Scott. Season of the Witch. Vanessa. Same. Jamie. And who was it even going against, anyways? <laughs> I'm ready for Freddy versus Season yeah. of the Witch by Donovan. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, Season of the Witch. And Kevin, is Season of the Witch moving on, or are you voting for Armory for Freddy? Wait, who is it going? Season of the Witch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't even matter. All right. Well, that brings it down to me, and I will vote for Season of the Witch, too, because are you ready for I like Fat Boys. I love the collaboration they did with um, Beach, the Beach Boys. But no, Season of the Witch is a way better song. Chansey, Season of the Witch, I'm guessing. Uh, obviously, yeah, for sure. But I actually uh, found uh, I actually have a record the that actually has "Season of the Witch" on it. Like, uh, I can't remember the name of the band off the top of my head that did it, but it just so happened that when I bought a box of the yeah, 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 uh, I, when I bought the I bought a box of records and one of their records happened to be in it and I was gonna throw it away but I was like no let me look at the, let me look at the track list and I was like season of the witch oh that's a fucking keeper back on the shelf she goes and Amanda just to fin just yeah. to finish it up 
Is Season of the Witch getting the first sweep in this whole bracket? Absolutely. Absolutely. It's a sweep. Get it. Well, it's funny you doing that voice, Chancey, because our, ne- our our last play in is ne- is next, and it's going to be started okay. by Vanessa. And it's both of these are songs I threw in because they're good Halloween songs. If I was your vampire by Marilyn Manson, versus Satanic Verses by Flatliners. Oh, Marilyn Manson. Because. You can't have a Halloween bracket without Flatliners in it because Flatliners is one of the horrorcore masters. So, and Jamie, your choice? I'm just going to go with If I Was Your Vampires. Is that what it was? Yes. Yeah. That's exactly what it was. Marilyn Manson. Kevin? Can I pick that skeleton song again? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> play in a play in? I think so. I guess that singer that I mean, started we, to act in things. Vote? I, I think that. you should. Marilyn Wait, Manson. What? I'll do the Marilyn Manson. No, what was the first thing you said, though? I didn't hear the last part. I, wanted, I said, I, I guess I'll do that singer that started to act in things. Oh, yeah. Mar- yes, he should He should have been Willy Wonka instead of Johnny Depp and Charlie and Talk Factory, but yes. See, I know him in one of uh, the creator of Rubber's other movies, Wrong Cops. <laughs> uh, oh, what about Hobo with the Shotgun? Come on now. <laughs> That's Movies a good one, too. And I... Even though I know it's not, not going to matter, I will throw Flatliners a vote because they are one of the best hardcore rap groups ever. So, Chancy, which way are you going? I'm pretty sure it's going to seal Marilyn Manson into this bracket. Yeah, I'm going with Manson. <laughs> All right. And Amanda? The Cramps. Oh, no. I guess Marilyn Manson. That's uh, two on the Cramps. I'm going the Cramps. Too. Oh, wait. I'd like to change my vote to Zombie by the Cranberries. Oh, that was a good one. Nice. Yeah, nice. I'd have voted yeah. for that one solid. solid. Oh. It, it was it was ranked too low. Thank you. But we Kevin, just now have two play ins right oh, here oh, that we I'm, I'm sorry, not Kevin. Yeah. Scott, your ranking website is ranked too Can low. Can we play in the cramps or the cranberry? Nope. Yeah, <laughs> don't let's worry. do that right or now. Man, no, I, don't listen, I, don't, I don't even know who the first band is band is, and I'm you, not a fan of Manson. So you guys oh. decide. Flip a coin. It doesn't matter. They already did decide, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> but all right, which means that brings us down to our last matchup of round one. And it's If I Watch Your Vampire by Marilyn Manson versus Devil Woman at number 39 by Cliff Richard. And this one gets started by Jamie. What? Oh, Devil Woman. That's a good one. Kevin, what's your vote? Devil Woman against what? If I was your vampire by Marilyn Manson. Oh, Devil Woman. And I'm going to give Marilyn Manson a vote because the best version of Devil Woman is by Credo Filth. I haven't heard it, but I probably disagree. I will send to you. But, Chancy, what's your vote? Uh, Well, I mean... Considering that as the way my screen's set up, there is a devil in the center of my screen. <laughs> Sam. I'm going to go Thank with you, devil Freddy. woman. Amen, that devil woman. All right. And Amanda, is devil woman moving on? Yes. Not going to make a joke there I want to make, but okay. <laughs> hey, and as Scott, devil which, women <laughs> rule the world. Ain't that true. Devil Scott, woman. which way are you going? Devil woman. Yeah. That damn and, devil. Damn damn devil. And that Vanessa, devil. Just, for, devil. just for dexterity, Vanessa, which way are you going? <laughs> She's voting devil. for herself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Howdy, I mean, come on. There's nothing wrong with a shameless plug. I mean, self promotion oh, you know. Fancy, I was just going to say that. Be shameless. Vote for yourself. We all did. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> We voted for yourself, so. <laughs> and does that, that make- brings us on? That brings us on to round two, at an hour and fifteen minutes in. <sighs> Gotta love it. But I knew this would be a highly debated one. And we also and- have a lot of fun, though. Oh, we do. That's that's the, that's the point of these. So Which what's happening that- in round two? I have no idea what's going on here. Oh, uh, we we're, we work, we're working our way to one song, basically. So. Oh, okay. And the cramps. All the ones. 
The camp is <laughs> yeah, not in the camp bracket. I tried, man. No. I tried real hard. We I've had to deal with the cramps. Had... It's monster match, though, right? I I've been dealing with the cramps for the last two weeks with my wife, so I'm good on dealing with cramps anymore. Thank you. Did you haven't been dealing with shit, so shut up. Oh, exactly. <laughs> I've been dealing with shit. And she has been. Fuck you. Kevin gets to start round two, and it's going to be people are strange by the doors versus love potion number nine. Ooh. Either of them make me think Halloween, but love potion makes me think more Halloween. So love potion. And I'm going to agree with you and go with Love Potion as well, because as I said before, people are strange. My favorite version is not by the doors. So, doors are great. Because you're an uncultured swine. <laughs> <laughs> and Freddie wants to get Kevin and Scott on Bracket Bastards. But I have a father. <laughs> <laughs> Terrible. But up, but. <laughs> Very well played, right. sir. Very well played. Uh, Chancy, which way are you going? People are strange or love potion number nine? I gotta, I mean, I love both of these songs because they're they remind me of my childhood. Because, like I said, all I I grew up listening to nothing but the oldies and and classical music, but. Uh, People are strange, man. It, I mean, it's in a horror movie. They put it on the beginning of Lost Boys. I mean... They did. I just watched that a couple weeks ago. Fucking but... love Lost Boys. I know. I actually wrote in, the, I wrote in our group chat. Like, right? Man, I'm so, I mean... <laughs> and then the fact that Val Kilmer actually sang all of the parts when they did the biography movie, the oh, biopic yeah. movie or whatever... <laughs> That's oh, fucking such a impressive good as fuck. The Doors is a great movie. I think that was the first DVD I ever bought in my life was that movie. <laughs> Amanda, which way are you going? I, this is tough, but I am going to go with Love Potion number nine. Just by this much. And Scott, is Love Potion number nine moving on? Or are you doing People Are Strange? I'm doing Love Potion number nine. You guys got to read Weird Scenes Inside the Canyon. You'll never want to listen to another Doors song again. Uh-oh. Elaborate. I mean, don't don't tell me the synopsis of the, the book, but elaborate why. The Doors are controlled opposition. I knew that. that okay, so I'd heard that conspiracy <laughs> theory. The Eagles, all and, of them, man. In the same spoon, uh, in the same vein that the <laughs> Grateful Dead were working for the CIA, because everywhere that the Grateful okay. Dead ever went on tour, the LSD, you know, supply would fucking follow them and direct correlation is just. But I don't everybody know. Maybe that it, them was on drugs. Well, Jim so Jim Morrison's theory. dad yeah, or. Golf of Tonkin, Jim Morrison's dad was the. Yeah, I was gonna say Jim Morrison's dad was. Started the false flag on the Golf of Tonkin. So, whatever yeah. song that wasn't, we're going with that one. We're gonna put a halt on that there because I was gonna say to you at one point. <laughs> I was gonna put. I was gonna say to you at one point. Yes, I know, but I was gonna say to you at one point. Scott would be a good guest for Red Eye Roundtable with you. He is very absolutely your style. for he sure. Your yeah, I'm all about here. that. I'm about that. We, I, I would love to have him on a show where we can bullshit yeah. and talk about conspiracy theories. It'd be great. No, no, no. He looks like puss. Theory. I call him. I call it. I, I call him alter. I call it alternative historical theorem, because really all it is is just alternate theoretical oh viewpoints God. of history. A band full of people on drugs was followed by fans that were on drugs. Oh my God! Somebody. <laughs> Call the we're, not, we're not talking <laughs> about the fish here. We're not talking about the fish. Next, we're going to, <laughs> next we are going to Vanessa and her pussycat. <laughs> okay, wait. What were the options? <laughs> What's that you, pussycat? Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, no. <laughs> people people are strange. I hear Steve Martin every time. Versus Love Potion number nine. Oh, Love Potion. Which you already moved on, but. What happened oh, yeah, I, I would have voted one for that one eight? anyway. Jamie, for dexterity, which way are you going? Love Potion number nine. All right. Do we know what happened to Love Potions one through eight? Anybody? Uh, they didn't work. <laughs> they didn't end up I'm well. assuming epic failure. 
I'm I'm yeah. I'm guessing they were like yeah more date rapey than love potion. Yep. Oh ask, ask the kids from Laurel Canyon. <laughs> yes, and Amanda, you already know the song they wrote about those. It's called Chloroform Girl. But yes, nah. <laughs> I did. Hey, I, I did listen to that. That's a Canada. beautiful. That's a beautiful song. All right, it is. It's a. It really it's, a, a it's a beautiful song. Is this it's about a. a <laughs> And Chancy, it's about a, actually, yes, sir. Chancy, I actually put that into uh, at the end of that, the end of that episode. I actually put that in as the full song. So it's and a great I love song. Your back there. I start the next one out, and I'm very happy I do because it's Nightmare on My Street by DJ Jesse Jeff and Will Smith versus Psycho Killers by the Talking Heads, Ooh. and for my boy Harvandre Lagarenson. I am 100% Ooh. going for Nightmare on My Street. So, Chansey, which way are you going? Psycho killer every day until it's not on the list anymore. Which it won't be at this one, I think. Amanda, which way are you going? Yeah, it's, it's definitely Nightmare on My Street. It definitely invokes Halloween vibes. So, yeah. I just most and... so did it so... You gotta vote. We gotta help. Bob. We, I mean, he's, he's just messing with Harvey. We, we can't. Josh, we, we can't be you propagating. Oh, the Jazzy Jeff one's funny, but I'm gonna have to go with Psycho Killer. Vanessa. Um, nightmare. Yeah, and ooh, Jamie, you know what you have to do for 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 our boy Harvey. And you're wearing the sweater. I I am. <laughs> Nightmare on my street. Because we all love a little bit of Willard Carroll Smith. <laughs> <laughs> hey, all I can say, I'm just going to go on record here and say, yo, VP, I tried, man. I tried. Kiss yeah, us. I'm going to be sure. Harvey's, Har- gonna Harvey's gonna be my vice presidential candidate. We're going to run for president in 2024. It'll be great. Because if Harvey right. ran for president, he would get shot. So that's why her chances to be. The yeah. Best. So like, yeah. So basically, I'm the I'm the fa- I'm the uh, I'm the front part, and then, you know he makes he's all the decisions. Time, he's gonna make the decisions. <laughs> yeah, it'd be like so, Dick Cheney, but it's like Dick Cheney, but only in like you know a positive thing rather than a negative thing. So Kevin, what's gonna be your for dexterity vote? Cats can see. It is a great song. It's a great song. It is, but it does it's not like a Halloween song. It's just No, and that's I was almost gonna vote against it, but my love of that song made me vote for it this round since I voted (laughs) against it last round. Well, it's going out this round anyway, so Well, I gave it its vote, so (laughs) I did my duty. (laughs) Yes, you did. And it's back around the horn of Chansey for Don't Fear the Reaper by Blue Oyster Colt versus Somebody's Watching Me by Rockwell. Oh, shit. I love them both. Oh, uh, Chancy, Freddie had a good point. Yes. What's up? If you're the front, you can't yeah. hug an ass. No. But he's a hot, <laughs> big, black amazing. I mean, even person. if I was calling him an ass. Then, <laughs> yeah, my piece of chocolate. There you go. Yeah. Sexual chocolate. Chocolate, salt, and balls. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I no, keep going. If, if, It'll get actually, awkward. no. If I'm the front, <laughs> Harvey, get Harvey is the reinforcements. So, Chancy, what are you going he's with? Not, he's, not, was... he's not an ass. All right. Yeah. Freddie was, Freddy was joking. What'd you say, big guy? I know. Chancy. Don't fear I the know. Reaper or somebody's watching me. Uh, don't, don't fear the Reaper. All right, Amanda. Don't fear the reaper. Da, 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 da. And Scott. Uh, gonna have to go. Don't fear the reaper. I don't know what the other song is. The somebody's watching me song they sang you last round. <laughs> well, can they sing it again? Somebody's watching me. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, that was <laughs> awful. <laughs> So which way are you going, Scott? I'm going the one with they they sang. Give them credit for that. <laughs> Somebody's watching me. 
Good SF creepy. Where you going? I like it. <laughs> Somebody's watching me. Yes, they are, my dear. Jamie? Yep, that. Creepy song. All right. And Kevin, are you going to tie it up or are you going to send somebody watching me through? Yes, Cowbell! <laughs> That's Don't awesome. From Kevin. Yes, what? yes. It's definitely Don't Fear the Reaper. Oh, yeah. it, I had a fever. Which, which, and the no, only no, prescription no, is more Cowbell. I put my pants on one leg at a time, like everyone <laughs> yes, else. Yes. Except, <laughs> except when I do, I, do it. I, I make gold records. <laughs> Which I'm gonna bring down to me, and it's actually tied at this point. So I'm gonna give it to somebody's watching me, because to me that's more of a Halloween song. Don't How dare you, Sully? In the movie Halloween. How dare you sully the name of the greatness of Christopher Walken? Stephen King and, is mad. And Freddie says goodbye, all. See you, Freddie. Bye, Freddie. Bye. Bye, Freddie. Bye. And which brings us to our next match. And Amanda starts this. And it's the Halloween theme by John Carpenter versus Dragula by Rob Zombie. You didn't even have Halloween. to say the second one. Halloween theme. <laughs> Scott, yeah. what's your choice? I'm gonna have to switch it up the Halloween theme. And Vanessa? Well, for a Halloween theme, you know, we gotta stick with the Halloween theme. Jamie, is Halloween theme moving in to the next round? Oh, it is. It is. All right. Which brings it down to Kevin. Yeah, up there at the begin at the top of the screen, it says that Halloween word. So I'm, I'm going to go with that. <laughs> that I will throw a funny. vote for Dragula. I will throw a vote for Dragula just because it's Rob Zombie and I have to. And it's his best song. And it was in House of a Thousand Corpses. So it's a uh, kind of Chancy? classic cow. Chancy, for dexterity, I'm, where are you going? I'm going with the Halloween theme because, I mean... It's well, the it's Halloween. Sweep. It's the it's Halloween not, theme. It's not a damn sweep, so I don't care. But and stay back it should, the Ghostbusters theme. It really should be it, a sweep, but it's not. And Scott gets to start the next one out. It's Number of the Beast by Iron Maiden <laughs> versus Werewolves of London by Warren Zevon. Number of the Beast, and I'm about seven beers in, so I got to take a bathroom break. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, you're good, man. <laughs> I need good, more you gotta... news, but I, I need somebody to bring me some. <laughs> you got a man. Tell him to bring you some. Vanessa, which way are you going? I'd have the kid do it if she sneaks it. Iron Man? Ooh. Make me look Here you more. go, Amanda. Scott, you okay? Ew. I got you want call Amanda. Come on. You know you want it. It's not. It's pure. <laughs> It's pure. Is that K Y? Is that K Y jelly, Kevin? No. Yeah. <laughs> oh. It looks like K Y for I'm sitting. Uh, no, I did. there, you didn't. You didn't look hard enough. Oh uh, damn I it! But, uh, sorry, what? Jamie, which way are you going? Uh, Iron Maiden. Did and Scott Kevin. Fall down? No, Scott went to go take a piss break. But... <laughs> well, I heard that noise after, so. Uh, he That's funny. But nah, he didn't the, fall. What was the one Kevin, that is? What was the one that is isn't Iron Maiden? Werewolves of London. So yeah, the one that's not Iron Maiden. Yeah. And it doesn't matter because I'm pushing Number of the Beast through. Well, and I am also push, and I'm also voting for the Number of the Beast because. You owe Huey Lewis in the news. Ten cents for every time he pushed that button. <laughs> but I bet you're a huge. I bet you're a huge fan of Elvis. I bet you just love his work. Oh, he who me? Elvis. Yeah. He, he hates I mean, Elvis. I'm not. I, I, are you talking to me, Kevin? He, yeah. Yes, he is. Not really. I mean, there's only like a couple of his songs that I even can tolerate listening he has to. Songs. Really. No. <laughs> no, he doesn't. 
That's what uh, I'm saying. You're, you're going on about that's... you're going on about artists stripping off other artists, and he's like the the king. You like Ice Ice Baby? You can't say shit. So I mean, I didn't really care much for the I, for I, for yeah, Ice Ice it. Baby. Amanda, which way are you going? Number of the Beast or Werewolves of London for dexterity? Uh, werewolves of Werewolves of London. See, I just had the kid bring me booze. That's what kids are for. But yeah, there, there goes your allowance up another fifty cents, kid. <laughs> when they reach that age, it's yeah. Yes. All right. Well, Van- Vanessa gets Vanessa gets to start the next one out, and it's. I put a spell on you by Screaming Jay Hawkins versus Abracadabra by Steve Miller Band. Um, Abracadabra. All right, Jamie. I'm gonna vote this time for I put a spell on you because I voted Abracadabra last time. Kevin, I voted for both of these, but I'm gonna go with spell. And. I'm going to vote for I Put a Spell on You as well, because to me, that's more Halloween than Abracadabra. Abracadabra, I can listen to all year long. I put a spell on you with more. I put a spell on you with more. Because you want to sing, I want to reach out and grab you. Well, I do want to reach out and grab. (laughs) I want to reach out and grab you and you and you. But, and I'm I'm pointing at all the women. Don't worry, man. And him. And him. Well, that depends on what I'm identifying as. Let's not, let's not get into that, but, uh, Chancy, which way are you going? Um, is I put spell going on, or is Abracadabra getting another vote? I'm gonna say uh, I'll go ahead and do I put a spell on you, and that makes it move on to face number of the beast in the next round. But just for dexterity, Amanda, what are you voting for? Yep. Okay. And I Scott, it. I put a spell on you. What was the other one? Abracadabra. Uh, I put a spell on you. And All now right, so. you're mine. Yep. I wish, Amanda. I wish. Oh. Everybody does. I know. But next match is going to be started by Vanessa, and it's. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Vanessa started the last one by Jamie. I was like I just did that. <laughs> well. Sometimes you like women to do things twice. I need to know where you got your sweater, by the way. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you like the women do two things, two things twice in a uh, row, Vanessa. What can I say? But and Jamie, it's gonna be this is Halloween versus Monster Mash. Monster Mash, Monster Mash, all day. Kevin. <clears throat> Halloween. Yeah, I got <laughs> Halloween in the name of it. Come on. And personally, Come on. Monster Mash to me is better because I hate Nightmare Before Christmas. So Monster Mash, because it's not the Marilyn Manson version. I'm sorry for your version? wrong opinion. I'm I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kevin, I love you. <laughs> and Chancy, which way are you going? This is Halloween. Amanda? Super close, but it's Monster Mash. It's it's quintessential Halloween songs. <clears throat> oh, well, song. yeah. it's actually being pretty close this whole freaking matchup so far. And Scott, which way are you going? Can't do a Christmas song for Halloween. Do Monster <laughs> Mash. And that means Monster Mash. The whole Mash song is about on... Halloween. Details. <laughs> <laughs> And this, and that means Monster Mash moves on to the next round to face whoever wins the final match. But for dexterity purposes, Vanessa, which way are you going? Monster Mash. Invalid opinion. No, I will say, I will say, I love the meme where Dracula is teaching his son about the birds and the bees, and his son's like, Jeremy yes, said that. and he's like, yes, yes, that is, that is the, they did the Monster Mash. Wah, wah. Wah. I think it's called the Monster Smash. Yeah. Uh, I mean, depending what kind of monsters are doing it, if it's the blob, then it's a mash, definitely. But just saying. <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a moment of silence for Jeremy's crappy opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to it. 
but two minutes silence. That, that, that is, joke fell. Good. That joke fell shorter than Jamie. Oh, I put three and a half, and I didn't get thrown at all on Friday. Uh, that so is not that recognize, funny. recognize. Yeah. That's funny. But that means <laughs> that Kevin gets to start off the final match around two, and it's wow. season of the, season of the witch by Donovan versus <laughs> Devil Woman. Season of the Witch. Ooh, I mean, Devil yeah. Woman's good, but Season of the Witch. Yeah. I gotta give it to Devil Woman just for the Cradle of Filth version. That's not the version we're voting on. <laughs> I put on whatever version I want. You should we're also not voting on the correct the uh, Hocus Pocus version of uh, Put a Spell on You, but That's everybody's true. still using That's that true. in their biasisms. <laughs> No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. Biasism. Biasism, he says. Biasism. The word and of the day. Chanty, which way you going? Um, what was the options again? Season of the Witch or Devil Woman. We're basically talking about... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Season, yeah, Season of the Witch. That was what I wanted. And Kevin, I swear to God. Amanda? It has been my house for the last week and a half, so yeah. I now but, must apologize for it, DeAndre's opinion. Oh, yeah. I, did, I almost didn't catch that either. Ooh, Scott, what's it going to be? Oh. Season of the Witch. Yeah. So hey. season, of the wi- season of the Witch does move on. But just for dexterity purposes, Vanessa, what's your vote? Uh, Man, I need the D20 every time you say gonna that. going to stick with, with this, with me. The devil one? Oh, you are a devil yeah. one, my dear. You oh, are. sorry, Vanessa. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> and Jamie? We're voting for me this time. <laughs> Season of the Witch. That is true. Which that means it moves on, and that is the end of round two. It's funny how much faster the rounds go after it gets to this point. But well, because the first round you have to debate all the songs. I know. And after that, it's, it's still like, a debate yeah. depending oh. on what gets matched up. Right. Well, mm-hmm. Never know. Yeah. Never well, know. Here's, here's a debate. Who's the and if I'm of all the women, Dre, shut your whore mouth. You kissed that baby you. with my mouth. That's horrible. Yeah, I, can't I know, right? You said that. We're going to mourn that opinion right there. <laughs> Tasha, Tasha needs to come to my house now, Dre. Please and thank you. Yeah. <laughs> but I will, I will Since we get to start the here. next. It's time to start the semifinals. And I get to start this one. And I'm so happy I do. Because it's Ooh. Love Potion number nine versus Nightmare on My Street by Big Willie himself. <laughs> and I will pick Nightmare on My Street for my boy Harvandre. Like Gary Robinson. How did so, Andre? It is 100% Nightmare on My Street for my vote. Chancy, what's your vote? Love, love, potion, number love potion number nine. Amanda? Come on now. Love Potion number nine is a better song, but Nightmare on My Street is a Halloween song. When you, I grew up hearing it on the radio, and I'm like, oh, it must be, it's like five days from Halloween. So that's what it invokes. So it's not even about Harvey anymore. It's. Yeah, yeah. But I love you. Oh, it's always about it's always about Harvey and his uh, BBC. But Big, yeah, as we <laughs> as we talked about in Sipless last time. But yes, Scott, which way are you going? Going Jazzy Jeff, just for the looks my kids gave me when I made them sit through that whole song. <laughs> Vanessa, I would love to have seen that. It, it, um, is Nightmare on My Street moving on? Yeah, sure is. Yay! And Nightmare on My Street moves on to the quarterfinals. Oh, this might be a Harvey bracket at 100%. But... He's like, Jeff! Jeff! <sighs> Poor Jeff. But, just for dexterity purposes, Jamie, which way are you going? Stop it with that word. <laughs> Love potion nope, number right? nine. It's... I can't with you today. I just can't. You're uh, voting twice on <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> Not twice on Sunday. Come on. Love potion number nine. Yep. You haven't had me twice on Sunday in a while. So. Never. But, Kevin, which way are you going since it's your vote? Um, I'm going to go with uh, Rick and Morty Season 1, Episode 6. <laughs> yeah. 
Good so, is that Nightmare on My Street? I love potion number nine. Oh, yeah, true. I remember that now. Yeah. Oh, and Amanda's going to love this. Amanda. Oh, hi. Look at her, look oh, at her shirt. I love it. Friends dress. That, that is too cute. <laughs> she, she's like, let me out of here. <laughs> no, she wants to go off my lap, but... Uh, stop spilling your milk on me. <laughs> no use crying over spilled milk. Ch Chancy, it starts back up with you again. Yes. Is it somebody's watching me by Rockwell or the Halloween theme? Halloween. Mm. Amanda? You know. Somebody's watching me? Yeah. That's what no, she wants. Oh, Halloween. <laughs> That's way to say your vote. Otherwise, people get misconstrued. But Scott, John Carpenter, what? all day. Every Which day. one? Of what? We're doing Halloween and what one? The song they sang to you for two rounds in a row. Now somebody's watching me. I like the speedy version right there. Go <laughs> Halloween. Like that was like two and a half times speed. <laughs> yeah, fast forward quick, Mitch. <laughs> you can mess him. Uh, Halloween. And Vanessa, which way are you going? Halloween. Which means Halloween theme is moving on. But Jamie, which way are you going? <clears throat> Definitely <clears throat> Halloween theme. That, I mean, somebody's watching me is a creepy song, but it's I'm going with the theme of Halloween. Mm -hmm. it does have that like you Michael Jackson? You don't want to leave your kids alone with them type of. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> kind, <laughs> different, yeah, yeah. yeah, different creepy. Oh, Hollow's and, Eve. Yeah. Seven. <laughs> you going with Halloween? Oh, Hollow's Eve. Yeah, I think that's yes. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm gonna vote for somebody's watching me because I can't. Let Halloween win or sweep on this one either. Because you ain't got no privacy. <laughs> <laughs> I, I live in a I live in a freaking three bedroom house with two kids and a wife. I ain't got no damn privacy. Trust yeah. me on that one. But that's what I'm saying. There's certain things I haven't done since I freaking moved in with them. So yeah, thank you for reminding me of that. Well, it's a and it's 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 a theme versus like, songs with lyrics. That's like uh, comparing an apple with a Jolly Rancher or something. <laughs> an apple jolly well, rancher oh a jolly okay. rancher uh, an apple s soaked in jolly rancher juice and see it's in the same froze. category i like that idea i like that idea. an apple jolly but, rancher in a zima oh oh i like that idea too if you're if you're but, old like me you know oh i know okay i remember you. doing that and i gave did i skip somebody Vanessa, did you get skipped? Oh, can't you? <laughs> can't you? You started this one, didn't you? Okay, I think I did. Don't... Yeah, you did. What's, what song, with, what songs started... are they? Somebody's watching me for Halloween. You vote for Halloween. You did. Oh yeah, start you're right. My, yeah, 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 my, yeah, yeah. Vanessa, yeah. did I skip you? No. All right, I don't know who the fuck I skipped, but Hall Halloween's moving on. Did you, you skip yourself? Song. No, because I'm did... the only person who voted for somebody's watching me. All right. Okay. Well, well, somebody got Halloween. fucking skipped. I know. Was I, Kevin I, I, skipped? I, no, no, you I don't. Skipped I skipped Puff. How the fuck? Well, you got us all. It's okay. okay well, I, I vote I for zombies the idea, by yeah, the cranberries. But <laughs> can we like upvote that one to the top or what? <laughs> yeah. All right. Play it. So, the other side of the semifinals. I mean, just die too. Come on. And it's gonna be <laughs> teenage werewolf. Same. And it's going to be Amanda starring this. Number of the Beast by Iron Maiden versus I Put a Spell on You by Screaming Jay Hawkins. I put a spell on you. <clears throat> and It's up against the Halloween movie theme song, Dre. Are you out of your fucking mind? <laughs> yeah, I love you, he is. Way. <laughs> I love you. You've got a game today, so I'll, I'll let it slide. <laughs> Scott, Scott, Iron Maiden, or I put a spell on you? Iron Maiden. Vanessa? Nice. Uh, I put a spell on you. 
Yeah, you did. Yeah. I know. Listen, I'm following her. I, that's where I, where she goes. I go. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yeah. yeah oh, J- Jamie. Jamie, if you went to unfilter my wallet, might have to open. I'm just saying. But I'm not. No, I'm not. Mm-mm. I'll I'll subscribe to other people and pay for. Uh. Uh-uh, uh. No. Nobody wants to see that. That's a horror movie in itself. I agree. Okay. <laughs> disagree. Oh, I'm not. I'm only five, three and a half, so I only have so much to go. Okay. I'm good. But, I put a spell on you. Is is a fun song, so I like it. Mm-hmm. No. Kevin, Iron Maiden, or as I put a spell on you, moving on. I put a spell on you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now you're mine. Oh. <laughs> yeah. All right. What? Well, yeah. I'm gonna vote for Iron Maiden just for reasons. But dexterity, you know, I do, I, dexterity. do like both songs. I do like both songs, but Chancey, just for dexterity, which way are you going? Um, it's a thing now, Jamie. It's a thing, <laughs> not, not. I put a spell on you, obviously, Iron Maiden. So, I put a spell on you was on four to three because of the women mainly and Scott, but. Actually, no, 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 not Scott. No. Oh, I did Iron Maiden. Oh. Kevin, Kevin. Yeah, I was right. going to say, what well, the fuck? Listen, the smarter right, yeah. people voted the right way. Yeah, yeah. that's a well, fact. Who's joining the cool kids? Yeah, most of the time, the smart people are the min- minority, but it happens. No, we're the cool kids. It's okay. But the last batch of the season of the semifinals, I almost said season finale. Season of the <laughs> It starts with um, Scott, and it's going to be Monster Mash versus Season of the Witch. Oh man, you can't can't go wrong with Misfits three Monster Mash. But I do gotta ask you, how much longer is this one gonna take? I gotta go load up on beer, smoke, get our show going. Do you want me to say the first uh Our show three? might need to our show our show might need fifteen minute uh start late start time, just saying, but might Well Deborah's but... waiting, so let's roll wait. through, sorry. Be okay. That would have another glass of wine. Um, so, Scott, is it Monster Mash or Season of the Witch? Well, it's got to be Misfits, Monster Mash. Yeah. Vanessa? Monster Mash. Jamie? Monster Mash. Kevin? I'm sad saying Monster Mash. It makes me think more Halloween, but I'm sad. <laughs> You're a sad. You're a sad panda. Oh, baby. The panda Kevin, is sad. I feel the same way, honey. Monster Mash is a good Halloween <laughs> right, well, song. I'm voting for season of the witch. Just give it a vote, Chancy. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm also voting for the season of the witch because I liked it better, and she Amanda? likes me too. I'm yes, echoing does. Kevin's exact sentiments. Monster <laughs> Mash, but I'm sad because I love. Season All right, of the witch. which that brings us to the quarterfinals, and we are almost done then. And it's gonna be starting with Vanessa. And it's Nightmare on My Street by Big Willie versus the Halloween theme song. Um, Halloween theme song. Jamie? I'll second that one. Kevin? Name of the bracket. <laughs> I'm voting for Nightmare on My Street. I'm voting for Nightmare on My Street for my boy Harvey. So. We and know what it's you're better, doing. And because it's a better song than fucking a, a theme song, so... And as Dre said, you put it on the bracket. Exactly. Said, you could have picked other songs, but no. I, I am not picking I've... the movie. John Carpenter's score is a fucking masterpiece. So, Chancy, which way are you going? Nightmare on My Street or Halloween? Uh, Halloween. You suck. Giggity. Yeah. <laughs> 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 it's one of my. Amanda, like, it's like one. Like I said, yeah, it's one of my three-way ties for favorite bracket. Yep. Or favorite franchise. And. Yeah. Scott for dexterity. Uh, what was the first one? I know we got Halloween. What was the other one? Jazzy Jeff and Big Willie. That one's just funny. We're gonna have to go with yep. Jazzy Jeff. So, night, Halloween theme moves on reluctantly, five to two. You can be happy now, Harvey. Big, that Big Willie's gone. And the other side of the quarterfinals, it starts with Jamie, and it's I put on I put a spell on you versus Monster Mash. 
I put a spell on you versus Monster Mash. Now <laughs> that's a bullcrap setup. That's y'all voted for it to get that. Finally, way. something that we can. It's a bracket. It's funny. I'm gl I'm glad this worked out this way. I'm out. Because both of these songs eliminated <laughs> songs that I really like. I'm out. Jamie, he says I'm out. Mon what you picking? Monster Mash, I guess. I don't know. I just had to decide. Kevin? What were the two yeses again? I put a spell on you or Monster Mash. Okay, so I put a spell on you and Monster Mash. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna give the I'm gonna I'm gonna finally accept the hocus pocus biasisms and use that ones. So the spelly so song. Put a spell, spell on you. I am gonna vote for I put a spell on you too because I like it better than Monster Mash. Say I'm like I don't, Monster Mash is like Halloween, but it's but but it's a Halloween bracket. You Nancy. can listen to oh. I put a spell on you year round. Yeah, Man, but Hocus Pocus is a Halloween movie. Chance you said uh, I well, there's a lot of Halloween movies with random ass songs in them. But that's yeah, the exactly. movie. That's the song of the movie. Amanda, <laughs> is I put a spell on you moving on, or are you getting Monster no, Mash? No, it's Monster Mash is a Halloween song. I put a spell on you is a great song Scott, you can listen to all the time. <laughs> is it Monster Mash or I put a spell on you? Definitely Monster Mash. Which means it's too, which, which means it's down to Vanessa for a tiebreaker. Monster um, Mash or I put a spell on you. I put and whatever you pick's going to the font. Yes, there you go. Bro. I was kind of hoping. Thank for you, thank you, Vanessa. I've been waiting for this song to get out of there. I wanted both. But... <laughs> Why? I just. Which... I'm I'm down. No, for the not you. I'm sorry. I was talking to Chancy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. it's because oh, both yes. of. Both of those songs, band. both yes, and both of those songs eliminated songs that I liked. So <laughs> I know that I I know that I put a spell on you as an easier loser than Monster Mash. Future to future uh, choices it has Fair to enough. make. Well, you hold the resentment. Well, I do that too. I'm gonna go with my. Uh, I put a spell on you. Ain't even a Halloween song. Well, it is a hocus pocus. That's what pocus. I said. It's not. Uh, it's a hocus Women <laughs> learned to witch hate all year round back when that Kevin. Time. Thank you, Scott. See, I knew, we're like this. Kevin. Hocus pocus. You, you get to start the finals out. Okay. Um, and it, I can go it's with the zombies, Halloween. cranberry. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we got a winner. <laughs> it's zombie, oh, cranberry. It I know, I'm intentionally switching to the pluralization. <laughs> It's ha it's Halloween theme versus I put a spell on you in the finals, and Kevin's first. Are those the only two? That's the fi it's the final matchup. We're down to the end, bro. Oh Jesus, we do can't we let really the theme win, right? So, in other words, do I piss off Amanda or do I make Amanda happy? Amanda's always pissed off, so who cares? That hmm. is an inaccurate statement. Oh, it was I put a spell on you though. Ugh. It is a Halloween. And, uh, I I'm agree, sorry, Amanda. Kevin. I'm sorry, Amanda. I, I I agree, Kevin. I can't let a theme win, so I'm going for I put a spell on you. And I was about to can't... take in yours, but then I just I, it's the hocus pocus that pulled it through for me. Yep. Uh, Chancy, I'm what going are you with voting? Halloween. Thank you, Chancy. Don't do that to me. Thank you, Amanda. It's Halloween. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> I put a spell on you or Halloween theme. Horror flick by Make Like Monkeys. Final answer. Yeah. <laughs> Answered Halloween. itself right there. Halloween. I gotta go I was get teenage ready. werewolf by the cramp. Final answer. Two <laughs> <laughs> scaly skeletons and shivers down your spine. It was good meeting all these people. <laughs> Thank you. It was good meeting you as well. He said uh, Halloween theme. Yeah, I heard him. And Vanessa, where you? which way are you going? I put a spell on you or Halloween theme? Oh, you suck. You could have tied it up and made Jamie choose the final. <laughs> J Jamie, for dexterity, which way are you going? One last time. That fucking world. Oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Halloween. Yeah, Halloween yeah, theme. I would have yeah. still voted that way. Jamie, well, I feel bad I... because he started saying posterity, and then I was like, no, dexterity. So you can be mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Okay, okay. I'll, I'll get mad at you later. Because it should have been the Halloween theme versus Monster Mash, and I would have voted Monster Mash, but y'all screwed me I up. voted Monster Mash. I know. I'm yeah. not mad at you. It's all these other <laughs> bastards. <laughs> well, I, I, acti- I actively did my best to manipulate that vote as best I could. But okay. I to wrap things up. In my to mind. Wrap th- to wrap things up, because I got... I gotta be on my other show with Scott in like five minutes. Oh shit! Halloween Sorry, theme, dude. Ha- Halloween theme will move on and be in our bracket of champions eventually, but it's gonna lose really fast compared to other ones we have in it. So I'm not worried. Right. And, but Chancy, the next month, the next bracket for the first half of November is your choice. What are we doing? I'm going to uh, go as was requested. I'm gonna go with Stevie Wonder. And we can discuss later on who's going to be in it. We're not doing that now because I already know yeah, people who will be in it. They're not. They're not fine. on the bracket, so including a Mister yeah. Arvandre. But um, right. And I, I'll do it for you. Can find Scott and me on Global Strange and it's a Paranormal Discussion Podcast since he had to leave and go set that up for us. You could you could watch us live on Twitch in about five ten minutes to pick our top ten. We're going to do our top ten horror movie countdown. But Amanda, where can they find you? Uh, I am the host of The Sip List, a top five podcast and co-host of An Evening at the Movies, a movie review podcast. And we are everywhere that you get your podcast fix and all over the socials. So just look up The Sip List podcast or An Evening at the Movies and you'll find us. We're easy, like Sunday morning. No comment on that one. But um, <laughs> Jamie, where can like they find Sunday you? Morning. Oh me, I'm I'm on most of your social medias under my name or Slipknot Chica. Um, I'm on Bracket Bastard, so you can catch me on there too. And Vanessa, where can they catch your lusciousness? Um, unfiltered Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, X Vanessa Rain R A Y N E. And she will make it rain, but yeah. Kevin, where can they find you? You can find me on Mars. <laughs> I believe that. I believe that. I actually believe that. No, but I'm on sip list sometimes, uh, evening at the movies sometimes. Maybe I'll be on some other ones at some point. I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. Always open, always open last for more. But, last, well, no comment. That's what she said. Not, <laughs> last, I'll just take a step further than that. But last but not least, and talking about being open for more, Chanty, where can they find you? On the uh, Bracket Bastards podcast, Our Glorious podcast, the Maniacal Music Musings podcast, and I am in development of the Red Eye Roundtable, which uh, will be an awesome show for both levity and serious discussions. More more news to come on that one. And dexterity. And I have uh, Instagram and a TikTok at... The Red Eye Roundtable. Got to make sure to put the in there. And then uh, I'm also or located. you might end up at Red the... Table Talk. <laughs> no. Nah. Also, you can find me in the Book of Faces underneath my name, which is Chansey. And as always, you can find Chansey and I on Facebook at Paranormal The New Normal <laughs> slash Maniacal Music Musings podcast with the S Facebook group. You can find us on Twitter and the gram as at Juggalo Bastard. You can find us on TikTok as at Juggalo Bastard Podcast. And you can find us on YouTube as Maniacal Music Musings. We will be back in November for our bracket for Stevie Wonder, apparently. And yes, we can see it coming. And we'll be back. <laughs> That's a good we'll one. Be- That's a we'll good one. We'll be back this week on Tuesday with Casey Box from the evening at the movies for his episode of Maniacal Music Musings. And I believe it's Demons and Wizards versus where the hell you guys picked? I forget Bruce you Springsteen picked. and Queen. Right. So it's going to be a, a rockathon. So come join us as we rock out with hopefully not our cops out. We will see you all next time. No. Please.